Whenever the 2021 NHL season kicks off, there is little doubt that Alexander Romanov is going to be a staple in the lineup for the Montreal Canadiens. Arpin Basu of The Athletic wrote a very interesting column this morning talking about why the expectations surrounding Alex Romanov's game are as high as they are right now even though he is yet to step foot in a professional hockey game in the NHL. Now when you see the praise surrounding a prospect, this isn't something you normally see given that they like to temper their expectations for players before they make the jump to the big league. But whether it's Claude Julien, Luke Richardson, Kirk Muller, or Rob Ramage, the Montreal Canadiens are very high on Alex Romanoff, and I think they have good reason to be so. Much like Arpin mentioned in his article, we've noticed two different sides to the game of Romanov. In the KHL, we saw a side where he was more defensively responsible, had a great first pass, and doesn't make many mistakes defensively. Whereas in the World Junior Championship, we saw a player that was very engaged offensively and one that wasn't afraid at all to jump into the rush. And I think we're going to see a combination of those two players when Romanov enters the National Hockey League. I think when you look at the coaching staff for the Montreal Canadiens, the reason that Claude Julien and Luke Richardson are so high on rolling up is because he plays a relatively mistake-free game, and that's the type of defenseman that coaches love in the NHL. Whether the Montreal Canadiens decide to pair Romanov on that top pairing with Shea Weber, much like they did with Victor Mete in his rookie season, you can't really go wrong with letting a veteran lead the way and make a player more comfortable in that setting. Or it's the second pair with Jeff Petrie, another great puck moving defenseman that would work well for a player that has defensive responsibility already in Romanov. Or that third pairing in Joel Edmondson, a big physical presence to go with Romanov who isn't afraid to lay the body at all would be another good solution for the Canadians as well. Wherever the Canadians decide to pair Romanov in the lineup, I think that there is going to be high expectations because of this pressure that Mark Bergevin, Claude Julien, and the rest of the staff have put on Romanov with how they're speaking about him in light to the media. And I don't think that's a bad thing. If there's a player that's going to live up to the expectations, it's one with a drive like Romanov. So I think that these expectations are a good thing and they're going to drive him to be a successful player that we all know that he can be. Don't expect high point totals to start Romanov's NHL career, but once he gets more established, I wouldn't be surprised to see him manning that second unit on the power play. This is the type of player that knows how to move a puck, and he has a very underrated shot to his game, so don't be surprised if he chips in goals here and there for the Montreal Canadiens. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, give this video a quick thumbs up and comment below what you think appropriate expectations are for Alexander Romanov in his first NHL season with the Montreal Canadiens. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.